How do you disprove that you've used a beads to cheat? Last year, the chess world was rocked by allegations that world number 98, Hans Niemann, had used a beads to beat world number one, Magnus Carlsen. Allegedly, Hans was receiving secret signals through a remote control sex toy, which was telling him which moves to make. The scandal ended up in court with a hundred million dollar lawsuit eventually being settled and Niemann declaring he'd play naked if he had to to prove his innocence. Which gave me and Archie an idea. Just how easy would it be to beat a chess grandmaster with the help of a beads? To put this to the test, we created a production company called Smash Media for a made-up TV show called Three Month Expert. In this made-up TV show, members of the public would take on an expert in something after just three months' practice. After reaching out to some of the UK's 25 chess grandmasters, one, Daniel Fernandez, got on a call with me. I presume you've, uh, you've been playing chess for a lot longer than three months. Uh, about 21, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sounds good. So that's locked in then. With our very own chess grandmaster locked in, it was time for Archie to do some important research. Taking it slowly allows your body to get used to the new sensations. But you're a bit more worried about it now than you were. No, not at all. Just my, my major concern is that, like, is there a max amount of time for which that's safe? I don't know. This is, you, you were very confident about this. No, I'm, I'm confident that I can take it. Uh, so to speak, but I, I am worried that if this match goes on for more than an hour... It might. ...and we're doing it, you know, how much vibrating is that? I don't know, mate. Are we insured? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, these are, these are, there are questions to be answered here. I don't know. Because prostates are quite important. Prostates aside, Archie went ahead and ordered the Wii Vibe Ditto Plus. Well, I figured out how to beat a chess grandmaster. This is called Stockfish. It is a super chess AI engine, which beats the best chess player in the world 100 times out of 100. Now we knew what moves to make, I needed a code to communicate those moves to Archie's bottom. Many of you all know I'm a professional magician. Ooh. Thank you very much. Brings us actually to today's video sponsor, which is Illusionist, ladies and gentlemen, which is the magic shop I use and have used since 2015, genuinely. If you want to become a card magician like David Blaine or me, they've got a beginner magic kit for adults called How to Do Insane Magic Tricks or Unreal Card Magic or How to Read Minds. It's everything from beginners all the way through to pros. You've taught me some magic tricks using the Illusionist. I have, and you've got a girlfriend, so it works. <laughs> We're going to use a code that magicians use all the time. So this is a code that magicians would use for different tricks on stage. What More if... likely to use it on stage than to, to use it to beat a chess grandmaster, yes. Um, but if you wanted to use this code with some other kind of magical devices that don't involve shoving something at your ass, Illusionist is the place to go. Use the code Squad for 30% off. Click the link in the description. Okay, so you open Stockfish now. Send me some buzzes. Buzz, 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 buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. So I think that's D2 to D4. I think that's that to that. Yeah. With our code established, Archie received a very special delivery. Party time. I don't understand how you're going to sit with that inside that of That goes up my ass. And then that remote control or the app, hopefully, will be able to buzz in order to send me what moves to play chess. Can you stop by it vibrate? Can you stop it vibrating? Stop it, stop it. Shall I go and get ready? Yeah, yeah, I'll leave you to it. Um, I actually feel like a condemned man. Do I, do I follow? No, I do, well, well, no. This isn't a good idea. I'm, I'm, this is terrible. Which way around does it go? Ah! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, relax, relax, relax. No, stop it, this is really painful. <laughs> Josh, this is, this is the stupidest thing we've ever done. Is it in? Yeah. It's, I, I don't know if I can sit down. Did you turn it on? No. You might have to go back. I'm holding down the button. Okay, okay, yeah, that's... Oh no, I've accidentally turned on a manual button. How do I stop? Oh, oh, no, Josh, no, no, no. Oh. I'm not doing it. No, because every time I, I'm pushing the physical button and it's going through the cycle. Oh, no, turn off. You said it was set up. <laughs> it is. Did it vibrate twice? No, it just vibrated a bit. I don't know, I can't count it. My, my ass is on fire. <laughs> This isn't funny at all. It says pairing is caring. Just pair the f***ing thing, Josh. Stop trying to make it I'm honestly not trying to be funny. Well, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I can't go and get it out. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, does that work? Yeah! <laughs> no, it's on all sorts, that's doing loads. What's it? It's going mad, it's going mad. Stop it, stop, okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, are you ready to play? <sighs> okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's play. Put on your best chest face. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. 
I think it's D2. Yes. To D3, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. So, with our system tried and tested, and Archie's anus fully prepared, the next day we headed to the TV studio I'd arranged for the world's first ever episode of Three Month Experts. Or as it's really known, Archie puts his up his ass and plays chess against a grandmaster while connected to a computer. Good morning and welcome. Is it a good morning? So, we're in Studio 7. Brilliant. Um, as you'll see, we're obviously smash media today. I basically thought the more real that this can seem, the better chance we have of this working. Because of course this man is coming thinking he's playing chess on a real TV show. It's not a real TV show. So you've show. hired an actual TV studio? Yes. I can't get cancelled for this, can I? No. But people get, my, my grandparents might watch this. I wouldn't tell them to watch this. So yeah, where are you going to be sitting? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. I'll be able to watch your chess game over there, and then I've got stockfish here. And that's just to warm you up. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is not a good day. How long ahead of the commencement of the game do you need to uh, make the incision? Uh, as, as little time as possible. Whilst our producer met our chess grandmaster, our chess novice got himself prepared for the biggest game of his life. I need you to connect, make sure it's connected when we're here. Have you got the phone? Yeah, just good luck. Can I just say, Hans, who allegedly did this for real, I'm quite impressed. Oh, I pushed that in too Sorry. fast. Come through. I no, yeah, he's far. just. Um, right, hold on, everyone. For the shoot. Oh, okay, I'm in. Great. Wash, wash your hands. You look out of breath. Yeah, it's not f***ing easy, right? As Archie waddles over to set, allow me to introduce our player on the black side. At age 28, he's been a grandmaster for six years. He's ranked UK number eight, and he's beaten some of the best chess players in the world. It's Daniel Fernandez. And on the white side, it's Archie and a butt plug. Let's give him a quick buzz to see if it's working. Good luck. <laughs> Checkmate. <gasps> Daniel, we've got something to reveal to you. You did not just lose chess to this man over here. You lost a game of chess to Stockfish, and I was telling him what to do with a vibrator in his bottom. For real? Yeah. Absolutely for real. You were playing against Stockfish. I was wondering why you weren't recording my post-match thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. We had proved that it is indeed possible to cheat your way to winning a chess match against a grandmaster by depositing a sex toy into your rectum. Is this how Hans Niemann beat Magnus Carlsen? Perhaps we will never know. But one thing we probably do know is that without Archie's special toy, it would have been a very different match. I can teach.
shit, sorry. Not so easy now. No, is no, it? it's not so fucking easy. <laughs> the pressure's now really on. But did it feel nice while I was doing it? No, it feels fucking horrible. It's still in there as well. Sorry, Daniel, that was not what you needed to hit. Uh, it's, um, that was stupid. Obviously. What should I do? Tell me, give me a move. Give me a move. Okay, yeah, go for that. Good. See, I've got him thinking. <laughs> for about a second. <laughs> yeah, I'll take them. I know that was a bad move. Oh, for f sake. No, let's try that. Oh, for f 26 seconds I lasted in reality, ladies and gentlemen. How's the bottom? Fine, thanks. Regular service has resumed. If you want to become a magician like me or someone more talented like David Blaine, then do head to illusionist, that's illusionist with an E, dot com and use the code GOONSQUAD for 30% off. They've got everything you need to be a professional magician and some of those tricks don't even involve having to put something up your bottom. But they can. No, no, I don't think they can. I don't think the sponsor's going to like the fact that you're... Oh. That might come across as a bit inappropriate.